Hey guys, welcome back to Roman Ruins. I am currently on the bridge I mentioned in the last video, and today we're going to take the not so yellow brick road. Okay, so it's three days after the last Roman Ruins, and I did say I was going to come back and explore this area because I've never been here before. Uh, so I figured it's Sunday, a nice cool day. Yesterday we had a heat wave and it was way too hot for me. I'm not going to go walk in these conditions, so. Um, the sun's supposed to come back out later on, but I decided to come up here and find what we can. A couple passed me and they said they got to put a dog on the lead because there's a pond up here. Somewhere over here. So I'm going to go and see if I can find it. Not such a bad area so far, and this must be the pond that that couple mentioned. I can see why they didn't want their dog to go in it. Look at the greenery on there. And then... Yeah. The swampy part at the end. Not even I would uh, go in there. Okay. Yeah, so I have no idea today if there's any ruins or anything around here. That's why I'm simply exploring. But I still thought I'd chuck this video under the Roman Ruins banner. Because you never know. I mean, I did have a list. I think I've lost it. I'm going to have to find it again. Of ruins to explore within South Wales. And of course, uh, COVID stopped a lot of it. We did start the year off well. We went to uh, Cantoni Priory with me mate Shanza. So hopefully we can get another one of those in somewhere. Retro Red Steve said he wants to go exploring as well, so that'd be pretty cool. Ah, okay. Coming to a fence and a gate. Okay, so last time on Roman Ruins, I explored this area. That was the lake. We went down there. Today we've come to the bridge and I've gone up the hill here. So if I go down that way, it's going to take me back to where I came from. So instead, guys, I'm going to go up the mountain. Yay, nice little climb. Uh, see if there's any views, find anything, and I could always come back down there and that way and back. Okay, let's hope we find some, let's hope we find some uh, remains of an old building or something. Okay, so I've come along a completely different path now that wasn't on the map. <laughs> Basically, I walked up here, Got to a crossways again and saw this and it wasn't listed so I thought let's try it. I still know where I am. It's uphill again, but uh it's gonna make it easier going back down, isn't it? So I figured I'd try and walk this way, see what's at the end of the path at least, see if we can run into any like open land. So I should be some nice shoes of Cardiff. Um but yeah, but no ruins yet. Nothing too interesting. But quite nice because I've never been this way. Well, this path I'm on is going for quite a while. I think it's looping around the uh, the mountain. So I'll go as far as I can. I know where I am. Oh, the path going down. And there's some more woodland. Interesting. I'll tell you what guys, we'll go down here because I can see a view among the trees by here at the very end. Let's go for it. Okay, I stopped recording then because there's a mountain biker behind me and face mainly a mountain bike child in there. I've come to the fence here and we do have some, I've got to be careful, there's like a barbed wire fence here. Some scenery on this side. Path leading down as well. I don't know where to go, I don't know whether to go down or continue going around. Or to go down that way. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Okay, so I found another view. Uh, through a couple of gaps here, I just walked down this hill. Uh, yeah, it smells like a farm's around you somewhere, so I imagine I'm pretty close. 
Uh, I'm still going to carry on a little bit, see if I can find anything, but I'm probably going to head back up that way and back onto the trail up there. If I take too many twists and turns, I know I'm going to get lost. So. It's really nice and cool, guys, after yesterday. Hope you all enjoy the sun. I'm not really one for the heat. So, overcast like this, nice breeze and cool, is perfect for me. Got a down tree. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it kind of goes a bit further, but it looks more overgrown there, so I'm going to have a quick look and probably head back up. Okay, this is the end of the trail. Uh, it goes down to a little ravine. It is quite steep, so I don't really want to go down there. I'm not feeling that adventurous today. Uh, yeah, it's like a small brook or river. I can't see if it continues on the other side, this path. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where it goes exactly, but... No, I don't fancy that at the moment. So back up the top it is. Yeah, so there's evidence of uh, campfires of people being camping out overnight here. Last night would have been a lush night to uh, camp out. Random tyre. Yeah, more burnt logs here. Looks like it used to be a campfire over here as well. Actually, this is quite a nice open space to have a campfire. Imagine these people know all the secret spots. Okay, um, I'm going to continue on a little bit, see where this path's going to lead me. There is another path now going up. So I'm like, <laughs> where do I go? How many do I take? Okay, so I've just looked at Google Maps, and if I continue uh, on this trail, it's going to take me to Caffini Mountain Snack Bar. So I decided to go up instead because uh, I don't want to be that far away from the car. <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a long walk back. <clears throat> Didn't realize I'd fired a. Uh, come on, this trail. Oh, look how muddy this is. Muddy, oh. <sighs> but if this is more of a cycle trail, I might just turn back that way. Let's have a quick look anyway. Okay, so top of the hill now, absolutely knackered. People been camping again overnight. So it seems like a popular area. I've noticed this shelter in the foreground, in the background there. I might go take a look, but if there's people over there or inside, obviously I'm not going to disturb them, so... Let's have a quick look. It looks pretty cool, actually. I don't think anyone's in there. Let's go up and have a look now. Okay, no one's at home, and look at this shelter they've made uh, for camping overnight. Pretty cool. Looks like sturdy, they've got a... Well, won't stop all the rain, but that will stop some rain on top there. Then under, under here. In between a few trees. Don't know if they'd sleep here. Oh, I probably would sleep here, I imagine. Imagine all the spiders and stuff crawling over you in the night though. This is really cool to find. Uh, imagine they come here, have a couple of cans. Of course, mushroom in there. I'm not for littering and all that, but yeah. Nifty stuff. So what I didn't notice is actually a green tent not so far away in that direction. And because it's green, it's quite camouflage. I mean, it's still a good, decent, uh, uh, you know, space away. But I thought, let's just get out of here just in case I am uh, invading their private den. <laughs> right, so let's carry on and see what else we can find. Well, I'm actually back where I first started. Um, the path behind me there is the one I originally came up this morning. Then I came to this uh, crossroads. And I went up that way, I've just come down a mountain trail that way. So, do we go back down that way to the car? Or, do we carry on explore? My feet are going to be killing, but let's carry on explore. Okay, so this is quite interesting. Remains of a vehicle here. See the engine. See the things like a wheel to the side. So, God knows what happened to this in the past. It's completely trash now. Been here for years. The rest it is. Yeah. Completely embedded into the ground as well. 
So, was it a car or was it farming equipment? Looks big enough to be a car, definitely. Okay, this area is pretty cool. There's also been another campfire by here, but look at the how big it is. It's quite spaced out. And people have made <laughs> man-made bridges to cross here. Um, I'm not too sure that's safe in all honesty of you. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll find my own way across. <laughs> Just be safe and sorry, you know. You can jump by there, you can climb up. Okay, so I made my own way, climbed to stone there and up. Much, much easier than uh, risking my life on this rickety thing. Okay, we've got like, what's that, an old kind of pillow there from a car or something. Seat, wheel. Uh, obviously for the campus to sit on. <laughs> Didn't want to take it with him. Ah, oh, look at this place. This is quite nice. Gives me a couple of ideas. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, it looks like the kind of old plastic chair or something you just sit on. Yeah, plastic. Exhaust. Nice area though. Ah, some kind of bird around here. Oh, look at that first shot. That's making me dizzy. Uh, right, the trail as you continue, it gets a little bit... Uh... I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, they're gone now. Um, there's a couple I was talking to when I found that car, and uh, <laughs> I think it's quite muddy head down there, and I just saw the guy uh, lifting his uh, girlfriend up and <laughs> carrying, carrying her over there. That's quite funny. I might try that way <laughs> a short while, see what's down there, and then there is another path I found as well. Ah, oh, man, this place is lush. If you ever want to come and gather your thoughts, this is the place. Oh. They came back then. I think they're watching me, wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to explore a little bit around here and see if... Go away, wasp. And, uh, go back. Okay, I am claiming this place as my own. This is now Metropolis. But first, I want to have a look over here. It looks interesting. <laughs> looks to be a bit of a drop. There is a drop. Wow. And that is quite steep. This place is lush. I never knew this part of it existed. Yeah, so I used to be a stream or something. No, it can't have been. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know geography, I'm not that good at it. <sighs> Definitely not climbing up here today though. I'm way too tired. Um, I might carry on a bit. I know that couple's interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll tell them all about it, you can subscribe. I'm doing a giveaway. Man, I could stay here for ages. I think down here in my last video of Roman Ruins, I did a shot close towards the end of uh, there's like a little trickle of water, like a waterfall, and all these rocks. And I think just beyond the tree, where's my finger? There, at the bottom, I think that's the bit I filmed, looking down uh, upwards, and now I'm looking downwards. Nice. <coughs> this trail does go on. Oh, cool. Man. Another fallen tree. Uh, it goes up into the hills there. A bit steep. A uh, bit muddy by there as well. So I'm going to gonna turn around. Go back where I came from onto the main path. Go on for a little bit. And then I'm going to go back down a different way I haven't been before. But I know it quite well because I've walked past it all the time. So it should be fine. Here we go then guys. 
So early this morning we were approximately by here, is that that dot? I went up here, I broke away, I went around a bit, carried on up here, and I've made my way back here, you know, back down and back to the car. Right, um I am gonna go down back a different route I haven't been before. Uh, if I find anything interesting I will film it. Other than that guys, I've really enjoyed this one, Um very happy I found that place there towards the end. That is a really nice place, I'm definitely going to go back there. And um, yeah, um, I will try and get to some proper ruins soon, see what we can find. We saw the ruins of a car, so uh, there you go, qualifies for a Roman ruins. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching as ever, and boom, see you soon.